Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to just click on the create new site button. And so here it is. In this um in this page then, this is how I'd like you to start this. Okay, so if you're when you're doing this, I'm going to start first of all is you got to give it a name, okay? I would suggest you start with like your name, whatever it is. I'm going to create a name here like Roger Beacon. Okay? And dash um I'm just call it a design portfolio. And this, the name is really important because it tells people what it is immediately. It's yours, it's a design portfolio. Okay, and when you do that, I'm gonna grab this here. Um, and then the title page should have the same, basically put in the same thing here. Okay, um, so this is on my title page and you can adjust things, which is nice. Uh, I'm actually gonna put it like this. I'm gonna bring in over here on the right hand side. Can you guys see the right strip over here? Yeah. Next thing is to begin inserting things. Like for example, I'm going to bring in an image. I'll just click on images and upload from my computer or from your drive, whatever you want. I'm going to go back to, uh, let's see here. Um, going to EDT. Hang on a minute. I think I lost it. Uh, don't know the picture. Sorry. Mm -hmm. There it is. Okay, so I'll bring in this guy's picture here. And I, it's easy to drag things around just to place them and resize them if you need to. If I need to bring in like a text box, I'll click here on text box and um, let's say like in the IT lab um, doing three whatever 3D modeling. Um, and then I'm going to grab this then and place it underneath when that blue it, blue um, bar shows up I'll drop it and now it's on that image okay I can highlight the text anywhere and change like where it is like it's centered there I can highlight the text again um, and change it to like a heading so it's a little bit bigger so it's easy for the people to see what's going on okay so you want to quickly move things around and um, set up so it's very easy very visual not too small text um, and kind of moving forward okay the next thing is to put in another text box here and begin putting in a um, a welcome, I'll say, slash introduction. Okay, if I can type today. All right, and again, I'm going to highlight this and say this is going to be like a heading. Okay, and I can drag this down possibly if you let me. Mm, I guess you have to. So this will be my welcome introduction. Okay, and again, you want to say welcome to my website. Um, I would say. You want to give it a, you want to say welcome and give them an email address. Can you guys hear me? Um, an email address because they want to be able to contact you. If there's like, oh my gosh, this person's amazing, which they're going to say about you. Um, quick, let's contact this person and get them on our team, for example, for a project team. Um, you want to give them some kind of contact so they can contact you quickly. Okay. Next is um, a gallery. Over here on the right, they have like layouts. Can you guys see that? And the layouts, I'm going to click on this one with four pieces here. And I like this because it's a quick way to put in images and then we're going to make a linked image to your project page. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to put in an image. I'm going to upload again from my computer or you can go from Drive. And I'm going to put in, this is the, the one I created last year. I'm going to grab this one here. Let's go this one here. Okay. And this is the project page. Actually, let me go back and I'm going to put in a different one. Let me go with, uh, let's see, I want one that kind of shows my model up. I want to say, what grabs a person? Okay, it's like they're saying, ooh, what is that? Uh, it's like this interesting robot arm is making a cake, or like at least the frosting. And so it's easy to see what it is. If it's too far away, people are like, what are you trying to show? Is it the person? Is it the shop? I don't know, but something grabs their attention quickly, okay? And the text, I'm going to put in industrial, um, robot design okay and again I want this text to be bigger so I'm going to go like this so I'm constantly like arranging things quickly because I know what I want it to look like I want it to be kind of grabbing people and, and looking like that okay the plan is and my goal is again to to link this to a new page where my project is okay so let's talk about pages over on the right here so right now I have my title I have the person I have a, a all of, every single image is labeled which is important because people want to know what it is. Why are you showing me that? Question is, okay? Why are you showing me that picture? Well, there's the label, okay? This is a, and this is like a project, so maybe I want to say, hey, wait a minute. 
this is an industrial robot design project, okay? So they know what they're looking at. So they're going to click on this. Okay, so now where are they going to go? If I click on this, I want to go to the project. So I'm going to go over here to Pages. And I have a home page already. This is this one. I want to add a new page down below. So new page. And we're going to call this the, um, the industrial. Let me see if I can grab this here real quick and just copy this. Control C. And do this again. There it is. So I'm going to um, click on Done. I have a new page called Industrial Design Robot. I'm going to grab this and drop it. I'll do that later. Okay, I'm just going to start on this first. I'll click on this page now, and this is the page I'm in. Okay, I want to bring in um, some images then um, of some of the work, like maybe this one here. There's one. I'll bring in another one um, of, let's get a close up like this possibly. Okay, and I'll put this over here maybe and begin moving things around and make it really visual. Okay. Um, next thing I'm going to do is that, so I have, this is my industrial design robot page. I'll be adding to this. Let me show you how to link this first. Okay, so watch this for a minute. Um, I'm going to go back to the home page, pages, home. Here it is. And I'm going to link this image to my project page. Okay, and this is very simple. Once you make the project page, it's available to link to. Okay, so it's just a click, right? Click once, click again. And it shows a link here, insert link. And I'm going to click on that link and it's going to say, well, okay, where do you want to link it to? I want to link it to my industrial robot design project, right? And there it is right there. If I hadn't made that page first, it wouldn't be there. But now I can link to it. When I click on it, that's the link. I'll apply that and that's ready to go, okay? And you can check that by going up to the top and saying, okay, let me preview this. I'm going to preview it here. And now it's running as if people are going to see it online, right? And I can like say, yep, this, this has a hyperlink. They can like see the hand. The hyperlink is there. Click on this, and it goes to my project page. Boom. I'm, I'm good, okay? I'm going to go back to, um, I'm going to exit out of here now. Go back to the editing part. I'll go back to my robot design page um, here. I want these to be enlarged when I click on them, okay? Let's try this one here. Um, let's just try this one. So I wanted to make a new page. <clears throat> um, we'll call this whatever image one, okay? Image one is going to be an enlargement of that other one. So I'm going to insert the image of this one and make this big, okay? So that when people open this up, they're going to see an enlargement of this. They can see this person's coming up to get the cake. It's being done right in front of them with the, with the 3D robot arm. It's like a 3D printer for cakes. How many of you knew that that was available right now? Anybody? Like that can actually 3D print stuff on a cake with a 3D printer. They can actually do that, okay? Um, but they need people to do 3D design to make the designs so that you can do that. So that's where you guys come in if you're interested, okay? So, <clears throat> okay, so this is my page. I'll go back to my project page here. And again, I'll click on this, click it, and choose um, the image one for the link and apply it and now it's working and I'll preview that again and when I click on this it goes to the larger image and I can change this up here to say whatever I want but I think I'll change that later but that's the idea okay up here at the top um, I have a problem that I have I have all these things showing up I don't want it to say image one for example I just want to say home and have like a drop down list so the way to fix that is like this when you see these like this, they're all going to show in that drop-down list at the top. But if I go like this and drop, drag this page up and drop it onto the home page, now it's now it's underneath that. It's like a sub page of this one. Okay. Let me go back and show you what that is now. Now I'm saying there's a home page, and underneath that is the industrial robot page, and people can have a drop-down list of all your projects here. Um, it also says image one. And I don't want it to say that in, up on my on my screen here, so I'm going to have I'm going to hide this. So I'm going to close this now. Go back to image one on the right here. If I click on this and say hide from navigation, you guys see that? When I say hide from navigation, now it's hidden. And when I preview this again, it's gone. It just says the home page. So this is more of a normal kind of a standard web web page um, drop down list list now. Does everybody see that? 
Cool. So I can go wherever. I can go to home now. I can go to, to the robot page. I can click on this. It highlights. I can go back to home and so on. All right. Um, and that's the basic. I'm going to get out of here now. This is the basic setup. Okay. One last thing is that on the, a couple more things here. On my home page here, next thing I want to put in is a, um, I want to insert my slides for the project. Okay. And I need you to do this as well. Each of your projects has a set of slides you finished. People who click on your slides want to see more about what you've done. Okay. So I'm going to insert um, from Drive now my slides. And I have a lot of stuff here, so sorry. Uh, let's see, hang on a second. Here it is. So this is my slides. I'm going to drag these over and drop it. I think I'm just going to click on this and click on insert. And there it is here. So there's my slides. And I'm going to pull over here a little bit. And I'm going to put in some um, a text box here, like right there. I want to give them some instructions, and whenever you have something for people to do, you want to give them instructions. Like, don't assume they understand what you're seeing. Like, people like me and older are going to be like, whoa, what is that? That's pretty, but what does it do? They don't know. So give them some instructions like, you know, click on slides to the right. I mean, literally tell them what to do to see um, project presentation, something like that. Okay, and make it a little bit bigger because they have bad eyesight because they're old. Okay, no offense, but um, whatever you need to do to, to help them to kind of see what's going on. All right. And, hey, one thing I wanted to insert in here is that if you share something like slides from your Google Drive, you have to share that with whoever's going to see the link. Okay, so the way to do that is you right click on the slides here in Google Drive and go to share. Okay. And it's already set up like to anyone in the TCUSD our district, right? But we want it to be anybody. So I'm going to click on um, change and then click on the drop down list for Temple City Unified School District here and click on anyone with link. Okay, so that takes it out of our district. It's just like whoever clicks on your slides can see it. Okay, and now it's anyone who has a link can see that. It has to be like this. And then um, when you copy the link now, okay, and you can share that, but now, I guess right now, um, it's like it's just shared with anybody with a link. So I'll just click on done now, and now it's shared out with anybody who sees it, I believe. So now if I go back to um, this, and yeah, back in over in pages now on this this here, now these slides are shared. And so now actually anyone who clicks on the slides can actually see the slides. Otherwise, it's going to give them like a, you do not have access um, um, report or announcement. Okay, and that's it. Okay, so now when I play this, I have this is my project page. I have a the slides are running over here, and I can look at those. Okay, and go through those if I want to. Um, and I've been I need to have an introduction here. So let me get out of here and go back. One thing I forgot is like an introduction to this. So I might go like this and pull this down, um, pull everything down a little bit. And you can do that. If it lets you, I might insert um, a text box here and like bring it up to the top. I can do this. Let's see, right there. Okay, I need to have an introduction to my project. Okay, and you guys already have this done, so don't freak out on me. Introduction is just copy and paste from your slides. It's the same thing. You already have it finished. Okay. What's the introduction of this project? You talk about it. They can click on images. They can see the slides. And this is the beginning of presenting your project to them. Okay. Um, let me go back to here. Okay. So now it's working. Everything's set up. On this, I have my slides. I have instructions. I'll have an introduction. I have a home page. I have each of the projects will be down here. They can see this. I have an introduction to myself. Okay. A picture. And again, I would encourage you putting a picture in there. Don't be shy. Um, yeah, Caitlin, go ahead. Thanks. Um, so that should be good. Last thing today I'm going to talk about is just once you to submit your link. Okay. So when you're finished and you're ready to submit your work, and let me go back to just the homepage here, so you kind of see this is where we're at. I'm going to go to publish, meaning that 
it's going to be live for whoever has the link. Okay, I'll click on publish. And it's going to be called Roger Beacon Dash Design Portfolio, which is fine. You may have to change the name if it's already used. Um, and then I want to click on publish. And then it'll be done. And now when I click on this icon here, which says copy publish site link right here, this is what I want you to copy and paste into the assignment turn in spot. All right. And that would that would be the that would finish that. Okay, and I'll stop.